This is Ashley Hodge. I'm joined by King McClure. We're breaking down Baylor's NBA draft prospects a couple weeks before the NBA draft. Now we're going to talk about Jared Butler. This is obviously a guy near and dear to Baylor fans, the most valuable player of the Final Four. And he is a guy that has shown so much improvement from his freshman year. And he's ready for the NBA. And we're going to, we're going to show you why here. All right, so let's start with, you know, just highlighting his range. Mm. He's got NBA range on his jumper. We've seen that. Man, that's about three feet behind the three-point line. And NBA line is probably right here. Yeah. So that's about two feet behind the NBA three-point line. And he's shooting that consistently. That right there, definitely translates. Translates. <laughs> He squares up like like yeah. uh, Mitchell. We talked about previously. He gets to his shot quick. This is a good illustration. He you know, takes his time, yep. squares up, knocks it down. He's really good shooting off the dribble. Yep. Like like Mitchell. That's another skill that Jared definitely has. Oh yeah. my goodness! Crazy but see, range. this one this one is contested. Yeah. So this one has a defender in his face. So he's still about two feet behind the NBA line with the defender closing out. No problem. Easy three. We didn't do very many defensive highlights on these uh, this film, but mm -hmm. one thing I noticed from Jared is he blocked a lot of shots this year. Yep. He, he contested threes really well without fouling. So there you go. Once again, ability range. to get his feet set yep. with the range. Not only was this a catch and shoot, because the first two we saw was catch and shoot. This one right here. You have to run to it, get his feet set from range, and shoot with a contest. Yep. Great job by Adam there getting, getting the kick out too. I'll, that, mm. This was impressive to me. How quickly he caught the ball, got squared up, and released into a good shot mm. blocker coming out. Yeah. Very impressive. Quick triggers. All these guys were so good against Gonzaga, but you know, Jared really took it to another level. Mm. And he can really, really shoot off the bounce. And we kind of talked over there a little bit about the, the wiggle in your handle. Yeah. Jared Butler has a lot of that. He's very shifty. Sure. Look at this one. Yeah, that's deep. Look how deep that is. Yeah, that's Trey Young territory. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That, that's, that's deep. And able to shoot this consistently, not just once, but do a game in, game out. It's not easy to do. His floater is yeah. one of his strengths. I mean, and that's something that in the NBA is going to be key. Because you know, press you off the line, yeah. being able to hit that floater, throw alley-oops off the bounce. You know, he's got that point guard mindset. He's a very underrated defender. I mean, not defender, but finisher. Yes. He does, he, people don't really talk about his finishing that much, but he can really get to the cup and really finish. Especially to the right. Yeah. Like, like when he goes right, I get it, he's going left there, but but he, I, I've noticed like Maceo finishes to the left and, and Jared finishes to the right. Yeah. Left. And he's very creative with his finishes too. There you go, too. like looking at that. Yeah. I mean, using the rim as a, as a protector, shot blocked. Like right here, his ability to hang in the air. Right. He's a defender, probably will block the first one. Yep. But he hangs for that extra second and is able to get the, get the shot off. Yeah. Again, through right contact, there. he's strong. He can, he can take that blow exactly. and finish. He, he's not the fastest defender, he's not the, not the fastest player, not the most athletic, but he does a great job of being able to draw contact. Right. Knowing where he is at all times. And be able to take those bumps and finish through contact. It's similar it's really to you. Impressive. Well, yeah, his upper body strength yeah. is, is, is really top notch. Great job here with the cut. Finishes at the rim. Good job by Mark recognizing that. Mm. Yeah. Look how low <laughs> he is. He plays really low to the ground. So when he comes, He's super low right here. The only way he's able to get that cross, because if not, if it's too high, the back defender will be able to tip it from behind. And this guy will be able to get his hands on it. Because right now, Drew Timmy, early he wasn't in the stand. Yeah. But right here's early in the game, so yeah, he's probably in the stand. <laughs> he should be at least. 
So he's in a stance, and Jared's still able to get by him with a super low cross yeah. and still able to finish. Timmy's like, I didn't see that in the West Coast Conference. Yeah, then his ability to take the second defender, see him coming over and still be able to finish. Does a good job uh, with steals. He got, he got a lot of these this year. Or just uh, gets out in transition, was able to finish at the rim. I think he's a better off-ball defender than on-ball defender. Yeah, Because yeah. I, I think his ability to get into the passing lanes right. and create steals like right here, I think that right there, he's better at than on-ball. On-ball, I think he's a good defender, not a great defender like we see Davion. But off-ball, I think, is where he really stands out and can really have an impact on the game. No question. Now, here's uh, highlighting some of his passing ability off of uh, pick and roll. Head up, uh, perfect alley-oop. He's good, no look, he's, he, he yeah. can do that really well. I think this is the area he's really, really, imp oh my goodness. Yeah. He's really improved on. This was a great alley-oop. Right yeah, he's really, really improved on. His, my, my senior year, his freshman year, he had this vision, but yeah. he couldn't execute it. Right. He couldn't put it together, like right there. Right. Look at this pass, this is, like he saw, Oops. That is a difficult pass to make. Yeah, he <laughs> like it's he, a perfect pass. He would see that his freshman year. Yeah, but he just couldn't put the pieces together and right. actually make it happen. Oh Good man, pass. I love that play. Yeah, gets downhill, finds Matt on the cut. Yeah, that's what made this Baylor team so special. Is they shared the ball. Yeah, they found the open guy. That's all you want from a basketball team. Take good shots, take them within the offense, and these guards. Man, and that job. shook me. I gotta run that back. I couldn't believe he did this. <laughs> Man. I remember you talking about that on air. <laughs> that you're Man. like, you can't duck in a game. Nah. He had four or five this year, right? Man, I can't believe he did that. Look at this. <laughs> There's wow. another one. Oh, this one is the one that yeah. really got me. I couldn't <laughs> believe this one. The Iowa State one and this one, I could not believe yeah. this guy actually did this. Shows that improved athleticism. That's one of the things he wanted to work on this uh, year, was being able to show that he has that athleticism to the NBA. <laughs> Maybe he may have had more, well more than four or five dunks. Maybe he had 10. No, nah, I think they put every single dunk he had in here. <laughs> <laughs> you just watched a draft preview with Jared Butler. Next up is Macy Oteague.